In this tip of the day, let's take a look at changing the toolpath origin within one CNC. Now in this example, you can see I've already applied toolpath to the main pocket. I've drilled all the holes and I've started to machine both counter bores. Now by default, when you generate CNC code, the origin, the X0Y0Z0, is going to default right here at the world origin. That means all your X, Y, and Z moves are going to be referenced off of that location right there. But what if this happens? What if, because of new tooling requirements, we need to place the datum here at the center of this hole? Well, you don't need to reprogram your part. All we need to do is set up a new origin. This is easily accomplished within one CNC, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All we need to do is take our cursor, come over the toolpath group, and right-hand mouse click. Then we're going to come down here and select work shift. Once we do that, one CNC provides us with different methods to define the new origin, the new X0Y0Z0. I'm going to use arc center, going to take my cursor, simply left click at the center of that arc, we get a new datum marker there, and that now is the new X0Y0Z0. So when I generate my CNC program, all the X, Y, and Z values are going to be referenced off of that location. Now if I want to take this origin and put it back here to X0Y0Z0, it's very simple. Again, right hand mouse click on the toolpath group, select work shift, but this time select coordinate. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in 0 for X, 0 for Y, click OK to that, and there you go. Now the origin is placed back at the world origin. Very, very easy to do. Let me give you another example. Let's say that we want to place the origin here in this lower right hand corner. Well, right now there's no geometry there to place that origin, but we can find out where that location is. We're just going to come here to our verify tools. I'm going to verify that edge. That's at 13.5. I'm going to click on that edge, and that's at minus 8. All right, so all we need to do is go back up to our toolpath group, right hand mouse click, and select work shift. We're going to use the coordinate option, and I'm going to type in for X 13.5. That looks good. And for Y, I'm going to type in minus 8 inches. Very good, so we'll click OK to that, and there we go, there's our datum marker. So now if I were to generate the CNC program, all the CNC code, all the X, Y, and Z coordinates are going to be referenced off of that location. And just one more thing before we end this video, if I want to generate CNC code, we can right hand mouse click and select post group. And notice here within the NC processing dialog box, there's also a work shift parameter. This is showing us where the current work shift location is. This is a nice reminder of where our CNC code, the X, Y, and Z values are going to be referenced from. And if you want to, you can always reset that here by clicking set. And again, I'm going to use X0, Y0, Z0. I'll click OK to that. These parameters have changed. So now if I generate CNC code, all the X, Y, and Z locations are going to be referenced off of world. All right, so here's our program. And notice that when we reset the origin back to the world datum, the little marker disappears. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.